Hey, hello, how do you do? Shady Durax here. Let's talk about Diane from the show BoJack Horseman. This show aired its fourth season on Netflix, and the last few episodes have really gotten people talking. One of the major topics is of the character Diane. The events of the last episode have caused a lot of people to share their growing hatred of this character. Before I continue, I just want to recommend that you watch all four seasons of BoJack Horseman, as I will be spoiling them, and even if you don't care about spoilers, I'll mainly be reviewing the final episode of season 4, and it takes an understanding of the entire show to really get any context. In the season 4 finale, Diane and Mr. Peanut Butter are purchasing a new house. Just before moving into the house, Mr. Peanut Butter suggested two of them take a spontaneous vacation to Hawaii, to which Diane agrees. On the way, they argue like a married couple, which may or may not be significant. The traffic to Hawaii is massive, and in the end, the two decide to stay at the hotel in the middle of the freeway instead of driving all the way there. During this time, Mr. Peanut Butter references a past episode to when Diane said she always wanted a ballroom. Didn't you tell me once you always wanted a ballroom? Actually, no. <laughs> what I wanted was a bell room. <laughs> it's called a library, but I called it a bell room because it was magical. And since it was a name that I made up for a room that wasn't real, that meant that it was just mine. Upon returning to their house, Mr. Peanut Butter surprises Diane with a library that has a Beauty and the Beast theme. Diane, however, is furious because she doesn't like grand gestures. Mr. Peanut Butter becomes defensive, saying that he shouldn't need to apologize for trying to make his wife happy. Then this happens. Sometimes I feel like our marriage is like a magic eye poster. It's messy. And at first glance, it doesn't seem to make any sense. But sometimes, if you squint at it just right, everything lines up and it's the most perfect, beautiful, amazing thing. But I'm so tired of squinting. <laughs> and that's the last and probably most infamous scene with these two up until now. This scene really got people talking and finally gave me the spark I needed to make a video about this show. Why is that? Well, from what I've read and heard, the people who like this show, including myself, like it for the gritty reality. The jokes are great, but the parts we remember are the ones that are humanizing and somber. In this episode, Bojack was also doing things, but he got a happy and hopeful ending. So it's no surprise that a good chunk of the fan base was focused on Diane and Mr. Peanut Butter. But even if Bojack didn't get a hopeful ending, Diane being a controversial moment was an inevitability. She started out as the voice of reason on the show and gave it more of a sense of reality than it already had. She was always questioning the actions of these people who were used to their Hollywood lifestyles. And she constantly preached that people should better themselves. In season one, she was my favorite character, and I would be willing to bet she was yours too. But then something happened. In season two, her book became a hit, and she received both an important job in a big movie and the job she always wanted, writing about big problems in the world. Despite this, she learned that the life she had always wanted had downsides and made the active choice to leave it. But instead of going home to her husband and admitting that she was wrong, she went to Bojack's house to hide. Why am I bringing this up when I'm supposed to be talking about season four? Because a lot of respect for Diane was lost during this time as well. And I think what happened back then in an entire season is also what's happening in this one episode. Back then and now, Diane receives everything she ever wanted, but she still chooses to be miserable. And yes, I do believe she has a choice in the matter. Throughout the show, we learn that Diane has always wanted a supportive family. Now she has a husband who wants nothing more than to see her smile, who wants her to be comfortable in her own house, who put in an extra effort to listen to what she had to say and give her a personalized gift. And she still thinks her life is miserable. Don't get me wrong, I certainly understand that Diane does not like grand gestures. There are people like that. But she has taken a positive situation and put a negative spin on it. And this type of behavior is not uncommon for her. The reason many people are finding themselves against Diane is because in the final episode of season 4, she displays heavily the one trait that is unlikable no matter what character you put it on. Hypocrisy. Diane claims she wants to be happy. But that's not the truth. Diane does not want happiness. She wants to be content. She expects a certain level of good and a certain level of bad in her life. When she can't find the bad, she focuses on what little bad there is, and this bad somehow becomes amplified. 
She looks for gray clouds in a world filled with nothing but silver linings. Why would you think I would like this? Because you told me this is what you've always dreamed of? This was a fantasy. Something that belonged to me. I don't like big gestures like this. One might be able to sympathize with her, but I think it's safe to say that this repetitive mentality is unfair to Mr. Peanut Butter, who wants nothing but happiness for his wife and is trying his hardest to give it to her. Why couldn't you have asked I'm sorry. Me? I'm sorry I ever try to surprise you or do nice things. This state of mind is the reason Diane finds herself most comfortable around Bojack. Bojack does not completely ignore her like Diane's family did, but he also doesn't prioritize her happiness like Mr. Peanut Butter. Bojack and Diane tolerate and oftentimes enable each other's bad habits. There's a certain level of good and a certain level of bad. But people haven't started hating Bojack because from the beginning he has spoken openly about how much of a bad person he is. Diane has this self-righteous attitude about her that makes you think that she thinks she's above the behavior she constantly finds herself in. The, it's different when I do it because I'm a good person mentality. Now, I have seen defenders of Diane claiming that her character is very real. The problem with that is, I don't think anyone is arguing that Diane is a bad or even unrealistic character. I don't think even most complainers of Diane would replace her current actions in any way. I have seen this type of behavior abundantly in real life, and if I think hard enough, I might even be able to find a time where I lived this type of behavior. The criticism of Diane are that of a person, not of a character. There is a running theory that Diane is supposed to be an alternate version of Bojack from the past. When he got everything he wanted, he just went with it. He took up projects, went to parties, and did other things that a superstar is supposed to do, even when they could and eventually did lead him down a bad path. Diane questions when things in her life are happening, and she questions whether or not they are what they should be, putting her on a path that might actually lead to something better than what Bojack has, a life where she can ultimately be completely satisfied with. It's very poetic, though it still speaks to her being ungrateful. I didn't want it like this. Like what? I don't know. I'm sorry. This is great. I'm sorry. I think we as the audience expected better from Diane as well. For a while, she was the voice of reason, and we didn't expect her to fall. But maybe that's just another point of realism coming from the show, to demonstrate that anyone can fall. Some predict the show is going to end with Mr. Peanut Butter taking his life in the same direction Secretary ultimately did. I'm a happily ever after kind of guy. I certainly don't want that to happen, but I would be lying if I said that wasn't the most poetic thing the show could do. Just like I would be lying if I said what has happened to Diane recently wasn't the best direction for the show artistically. But let's ask this question. Is Diane a good person? I think you can garner my opinion based on what I've said. But I think a more telling question is, if Diane could watch this show, would she think she's a good person? Well, do you think I'm a good person? Deep down? That's the thing. I don't think I believe in deep down. I kind of think all you are is just the things that you do. Well, that's depressing. <laughs> Diane is a great character with a lot of depth and a lot of thought put into her. I just think people are disappointed that she turned out to be a very flawed person. Then again, who isn't flawed? Especially when you're talking about a show like BoJack Horseman. This has been Shady Direct. So long, farewell, I'd be to say goodbye. Look, Mr. Peanut Butter loves you. Y you got a cool job, you got friends. I'm the problem. <laughs> Whoa! What the? Why can't I be happy? <laughs> Dear Diane, it's me. You're a, You're a good, good person, person Diane, Diane, and that's, and that's the, the most, most important, important thing. thing. Even if no, no one, one appreciates, appreciates you, you, it's important that you don't, don't stop, stop being good. good.